The House of Representatives on Wednesday received a transmission from President Bola Tinubu seeking approval for the extension of the period for the implementation of the capital component of the 2023 appropriation bill from March 31, 2024 to June 30, 2024. The House Speaker Tajuddin Abbas, who read the letter at the commencement of plenary, says the President also requested the House to extend the implementation of the Supplementary Appropriation Act from March 31, 2024 to June 30, 2024. He says the extension became necessary to ensure that the provisions of the two acts were fully implemented. Also at plenary, the House urged the, Niger the National Emergency Management Agency to provide relief materials and first aid kits to the victims of flooding in Makoko and uh, Otumara communities in Lagos mainland federal constituency of Lagos State. It also urged the Federal Roads Maintenance Agency, FERMA, to immediately commence rehabilitation of the damaged roads in Makoko and Otumara. The resolution by the House was sequel to a motion on the devastating flood and erosion in Makoko and Otumara communities raised by Honorable Moshut Oshun, representing Lagos mainland federal constituency, Lagos State. Honorable Oshun noted that the impact of flooding on the socioeconomic outcomes and community development have become disturbing, especially as low-income areas and overcrowded communities are more vulnerable to the rapidly escalating phenomenon. The House notes that the impact of flooding on socioeconomic outcomes and community development have become perturbing, especially as low-income areas and overcrowded communities are more vulnerable to the rapidly escalating phenomenon. Distinguished colleagues, the House also concerned that the 2024 rainy season is fast approaching, and if the flooding in these com the communities are not urgently mitigated, it will result in devastating consequences when the rain starts. Mr. Speaker, the House is worried that the incessant flooding in the communities has exacerbated their susceptibility to waterborne diseases like malaria, cholera, typhoid, yellow fever, diarrhea, leptospirosis, and hepatitis A, among others. The House is also worried that the gully erosion caused by the floods have rendered access roads in the communities impossible, causing untold hardship for the residents, as they must travel long distances to assess medical care and many essential services. The House adopted the motion without debate and further urged the Ecological Project Office to provide funds for the provision of sustainable flood management systems to mitigate incessant flooding in Lagos mainland with FERMA and Ecological Fund committees to ensure implementation. In order development, the House has condemned the abuse and proliferation of orphanages in Nigeria. It urged the Federal Ministry of Health and Social Welfare to interface with all 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory for immediate and full compliance of the mandate of orphanage homes across the country. This followed the adoption of a motion raised by Honorable Emerengua Sunday, member representing a query federal constituency, River State. Speaking further, Honorable Sunday observed that most proprietors of orphanage homes often prioritize profit over their core mandate, turning orphanages into baby factories where teenage girls are accommodated to produce babies, which are sold and used for rituals and other heinous activities. Worried that a, a good number of orphanage homes are being used for human trafficking, whereby innocent girls are being recruited to embark on illegal migration to foreign countries, where they are eventually end up either being abused, prostitutes, or housemates. The highest cognition of the urgent needs, urgent demand of government at all levels to formulate stringent conditions for the establishment of orphanage in the country to prevent and curb the proliferation of orphanage homes. The House convinced of the urgent need to clamp all unregistered and all criminally motivated orphanage homes in the country in fulfillment of government, government primary duty of security and welfare of our citizens.